Hello everyone, Mr. Schultz here as we dive into solving real-world polynomial equations using a system. So what is our objective? Well, we're going to use a graphing calculator, so let's write that down, to solve a system of polynomial equation. So we are going to create two functions and figure out where do they meet. So we have this rectangular garden that's 12 feet across by 16 feet long. It is surrounded by a border that has a uniform width of x. So the maximum area of the garden plus the border can only be 285 square feet. Now, if you just heard me, I said 285 square feet. You can write this two different ways, either like this or like this. So it says write a polynomial equation to represent the situation. Since this is like by definition an area model, I know that this is going to be x. And then this in between here is 16 and then x. So I know I'm going to have 16 plus 2x. And I'm going to be multiplying that to 12 plus 2x. So I know this at most can be 285 square feet. Well, I'm going to actually multiply this out. And what I like to do is I like to draw a diagram of it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly draw my area model. All right, guys, so let's jump into this. This can actually be written like this. So I'm going to get 12 times 2x is 24x. 16 times 2x is 32x. And 2x times 2x is 4x squared. Now I'm having a little trouble with this 12 times 16, so hold up. I'm going to do another one. So 16 times 12 will be whatever this is, which would be 192. 192. So if I rewrite this, I would get 4x squared plus 24 plus 32 right here, which would be, because they both have x, that would be 56x, and then plus 192 is equal to 285. All right, there we go. Well, here's my equation. So before we go on, let's ask what's the next question. So what I can actually do is I can actually rewrite this and normally we could put y is equal to 4x and write each of these down plus 56x plus 192 and I'll say hey I have this y is equal to 285. Now what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to plug these in. So let's switch over to Desmos. And then I'm going to plug them in here. So hold up in 5, 4, 3, 2, and. So here's my two equations I have. I'm going to plug them in right here. And I'm like, wait a second here. What's going on here? Well, all I need to do is I need to move this out. And I need to go up. And it will tell me what my point will be. Now, I have two points where this, this could be. I could either be at negative 15.5 and 285 or 1.5 and 285. We can't have negative distances, so we're going to throw out our negative answer out. We're going to keep our non-negative answer and have 1.5 feet. So 1.5 comma 285, that's where the two equations meet. So let's go back. So talking about what these points represent, we have 1.5 feet and then we have 285 square feet. So what does that mean? Well, that's, that's what x is. So if x is this, then our area is this. And what was x? x is our path, our width of our path, just across, or across, or across, wherever it is. Across, that's our width. So our width is 1.5. So it asks, what are the dimensions of our garden plus the border? Well, 
I know it's 12 by 16, but it's not. It's 12 plus 2x by 16 plus 2x. And 2 times 1.5, or 2 times $1.50 is 3. So I'm going to have 15 feet by 19 feet. And if I use a handy dandy calculator and multiply these two out, I should get an area of 285 square feet. All right, guys. Thank you, and I'll see you in class. Bye.